dear students this class i am going to discuss about the pointing vector which we already discussed the pointing vector p which is usually notated with the letter p is describe the what is the power per meter square of an electromagnetic wave and it is at p and h cross product so cross product of E and H. E is the field intensity and H is magnetic field intensity, both electric and magnetic field intensity expressed. P is expressed in terms of the cross product of E and H. And in this class, I am going to express this term in an average form and average pointing vector or real pointing vector or imaginary pointing vector or reactive pointing vector. So the P average is real pointing vector and P reactive is an imaginary pointing vector. So in this class, I am going to derive the expression of this pointing vectors in this form, just like S P usually express P plus J Q, where P is a real term and Q is a reactive term. So here, in similar way, I am going to split this pointing vector into two different terms. One is a real part, and another is imaginary part. Before that, let us discuss. How a waveform can be explained? Let us see here a two or wave shape. One is a blue color, and let us take it as and a voltage V, and it is expressed using the small V because it is instantaneous when it is changing with the time. And next one is the green to waveform, which is the, the current, which is represented using a small letter of I. Small i represent uh, it's a the varying quantity which which varies with the time. And let us take uh, this as the maximum value. So Vm and this is the, the maximum value of current I Vm. We can um, clearly see that uh, there is a phase shift exists between voltage and current. So both are not in phase. If they are in phase, there is no reactive terms. There is only a real term. Now we are going to express the voltage and current in terms of the cosine and sine waveform. So uh, let us see how we can how we can write voltage V is nothing but the maximum voltage of V. Uh, you can uh, express in terms of sine or cosine, both are same. So let us take uh, for the, the sake of simplicity, let us take it the cos, cos omega t plus theta v, and the current is the maximum value of current cos omega t plus theta i. Where theta we represent the what is the phase advance of this voltage vector with reference to the reference vector. Similarly, theta i represent what is the phase advance of this current vector with reference to the reference vector. Let us take this as a reference vector and let us take this as voltage vector which lead the reference vector by an angle theta v and similarly let's take it as a current vector which lead the reference vector by an angle of theta i a difference between theta v and theta i so let's take it as theta so theta is equal to theta v minus theta i now let us take this equation number one and equation number two. Then the instantaneous power can be represented as the 
multiplication of 1 and 2 that is what is in the current so it's nothing but Vm Im cos omega t plus theta v that's multiplied with cos omega t plus theta i so here cos a cos b so we have to remember the diagrammatic expression uh, which comes in the form of cos a and cos b let us let us take another page and what is cos a plus b cos a plus b is cos a cos b minus sine a sine b cos a minus b is cos a cos b plus sine a sine b now i am going to add both cos a plus b and cos a minus b so this becomes cos a plus b plus cos a minus b is equal to these two are tensor are same so when we do the addition these two cancel so this becomes two cos a cos b so cos a cos b is cos a plus b plus cos a minus b all divided by two. So let us apply this diagrammatic expression in the previous slide. So here let us take Vm I M Vm I M. So here we have a on the number side of half Vm I M by two let us open the curly bracket and we put this uh, expression there and uh, here a and b are uh, omega t plus uh, theta i theta b and uh, omega t plus uh, theta i so so this becomes cos a plus b cos which is a is b cos omega t plus omega t 2 omega t plus theta v minus theta v plus theta i that plus cos a minus b cos a is omega t plus theta v minus omega t plus theta i so this becomes theta v minus Theta i is close this bracket. Now, if you take the average value of this function, um, this term becomes zero. To take the average value, because this function is fluctuating at uh, the two times the frequency of this original wave. So, if you take a cos function, it's its frequency is 2 omega 2 if you take the average value so you have plus half and minus half um, over a period so this the average value becomes zero so you have only one thing which remain in this expression that is cos theta v minus theta i so we already assumed that theta v i minus theta e is theta so the average value function that is, let us take it as the average value is Vm I am by 2 cos theta. Similarly, this is the real part, then imaginary part becomes Vm I am by 2 I am theta. This is an imaginary part. So this is just like Q, and this one is just like Q. 
of P. I will don't get confused with the P a pointing vector and the P. So here P I mean um is a parent or equal to P plus C P the the power not pointing vector power. Similarly, so uh, so yes is nothing but the parent power is nothing but uh, V M I M conjugate I K. In similar way, uh, the pointing vector can also be expressed as this is this pointing vector EM HM by K. So the average value is or the real part is nothing but this is cross. So the real average value is the real part of So the imaginary part is P to reactive tennis of so here we can see that the similar to the way I express the instantaneous power. The pointing power is also expressed in the in instantaneous thing here, and from this instantaneous thing, and so we can see that uh, sorry that in this instantaneous thing is which can conjugate similar to the way I used to conjugate here for the I M thing. So from this expression, we can come to the point of uh, the real part and the imaginary part. So. The three times are explained the instantaneous pointing vector and the average the pointing vector which is the real part of the pointing vector and the imaginary pointing vector which is the real part of the pointing vector. So these are the different ways by which I can distinguish the pointing vector just similar the way I distinguish the power real power, reactive power and apparent power in an elliptic circuit.